All right, guys, if you are looking for a fast ultralight race bike that has a modest amount of travel to keep the tires on the ground. Modest being generous. Yeah, yeah, it's them being generous in that. Um, the Trek Super Caliber might be the bike for you. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another fabulous episode of Bike Showcase we are. on Toolbox Topic. And I'm joined once again by my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Hi. Brandon, how the hell are you? Cold. It's cold. Well, yeah, it is a little chilly this morning. So I see you're leaving the beard for No Shave November. I got a head start. Yeah, you did get a head start. <laughs> I, I would never catch up to him anyways, guys. We've discussed this before. So for those of you who don't know, or when you're watching this video, it's actually November 18th is the recording of this video. It's no shave November. Brandon did have a head start, but he's better at growing the beard than I am. What are you going to do? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, just one of those things. So I'd rather be able to do other things. <laughs> I, I, know. I know my post yesterday, I'm like, I'm glad I'm a better hiker, mountain biker than growing a beard. So, um, but still, we do what we do, and the, it's all for uh, good cause, good fun. Um, so today, we're here for with another episode of Bicycle Showcase, and we're going to be talking about the Super Caliber, which is Trek's line of race bike that kind of falls in line with the Excalibur, the Pro Caliber, and the Super Caliber being top shelf. It's in the Caliber family. It's in the Caliber family. It's a full on freaking race bike, right? Nice, here. nice. And they actually make an E version of this as well with the uh, Fonza, Faza motor or whatever. Mm -hmm. yep. Exactly. Now, if that I've bike had a Bosch motor, yeah. If that bike had a Bosch motor, I'd probably buy it just for the sake of buying it because it looks fun I, and fast. I think fast. they're trying to keep it light. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I just that. don't know enough about the Foza I don't either. motor system to, to trust it. Not like I trust the Bosch. <laughs> That's all I needed to be we'll see. cursing on the trail. We'll yeah, see. time will tell on that one. So anyways, let's let's get back to the, the matter at hand here, talking about, now this is the 9.7, correct. correct? Okay, correct. so now we're in that upper echelon. It's carbon. You got the 9.7, the 9.8, and of course the 9.9. .9. Um, this one, even though it is the bottom of the wrong, it's still on the in the top top tier. I, I I consider it a very advanced bike. Okay, for sure. So let's talk about some of the features. Yep. Uh, you know, you talk. You started off with a modest amount of travel. Well, right. this thing has very. I consider it to have very little travel for a dual suspension bike. But really, it, the bike's about being light. It's about being fast, and it's exactly that. I've had right. the pleasure to race this uh, on some endurance races, <clears> and I've had, had a great time on it. It's perfect for a race course. Um, Maybe not the best thing for that person that wants to take it to Sedona or Flag. It's not a great all-round bike for right. Arizona, in my opinion. Um, it might be fantastic for someone that lives in the Midwest for all their conditions. But okay. around here, 60 millimeters of travel in the back and 100, milli milli 100 millimeters of travel in the front. Um, sometimes it just doesn't... I've got more travel in my driver well. post. I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but that 60 mils of travel in the back, it makes you feel like you're riding a hardtail until you kind of flinch about hitting something and you mm -hmm. hit that thing so smooth right and you stay on track it, it really really is a beautiful riding bike i love riding this thing super cool but well yeah, and you're 16, racing that's what you're trying to do you're trying to maintain that control of keeping the rear tire on yep, the ground absolutely you know so you don't yep. need a tremendous amount added control so. so you know along with you know this limited suspension we get a very light bike now this one is the entry one of the entry level super caliber so she's just around 25 pounds okay if you were to get the 99 you can get it under 20 pounds very easily so they they claim 20 pounds with tubes they don't come with tubes anymore so you're probably getting it out of the box under 20 pounds nice and then if you of course a, if you added few more cool, yeah a few other cool bits on there that'd be an extremely nice. light dual suspension bike so for you thing. weight weenies that's the one to uh to target yep they really are a, a real pleasure to ride on the race course very cool really really fun that almost makes um, me want one now <laughs> to start racing and throw that into the repertoire of shit that i do it's so um, cool um Rims. I was surprised. It had carbon. Carbon wheels. This is the Kobe Carbon Elites, the oh, 30s. So I'm that's very impressed. <laughs> that is. Um, I have the Kobe Carbon Triple X on uh, Jenny, and I absolutely love them. Those things have been amazing. So I would assume that these are as good a quality as as those are. Yeah. So. Um, well, again, we always take the good with the bad. Right. They give you these carbon wheels, but <laughs> uh, these guys right here. Yeah. Leaving me, leaving me a little sad. Um, right. I think I think maybe Trek is you know just trying to get some bikes 
out on the on the sales floor so uh, they had these ready to go so they can they can get them out I really would have liked to have seen at least an SLX right crank crank on, on there it would have been a little more elegant looking a little bit nicer um, we'll see but well, when you have very an XT, easily upgradable in the future yeah and you have an XT rear derailleur and you have SLX shifters up XT, front. and the you have a 32 uh, 32 tooth ring on the front and then a 1051 in the back 12 speed so gotcha. I'm really surprised gearing. they didn't have the 52 it, in the back yeah, and it's, again it's lack of parts yeah. So now, does the 9.8 or 9.9 come with the 52? Do you know offhand? Uh, I think it does because you'll get those in Eagle. Oh, like yeah, X, then definitely XL1 the tram. Yeah. yeah, you'll get it so, in an updated hey, drivetrain. Bike nerds, chime in. We know you're out there. You've done it before <laughs> and you've been, for the most part, polite about it. And <laughs> what a great segue into saying like hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon because I know some of you won't make it to the end of the video. But I'm asking you to do it now because one, it helps out the video tremendously and it helps out the channel as well. So don't forget to do that. Um, and then you can tap out, go eat your Hot Pocket or something <laughs> like that. And then come back and watch the rest of the video. So, all right. So now I had commented up front, it looked like it was a uh, clincher, but it is an actual through axle. Yeah, it, it is through axles. Yep. This one through axles. It's, through, um, it's a reeb up front. Okay, so we're saving we're saving a little money with the with the Reba. It is an air um, an air adjustable fork. Okay. It does have lockout. This bike is a race bike, so your lockout is front and rear at the same time mm. for that race feature. Okay, um, but yeah, it would have been nice to have a, just a little more elegant through axle on this thing. And you can always add that. You can always do that later on. Yeah. But I know at first sight, like, uh, what is that thing? What the hell is that? Right. <laughs> yeah, but it, it happens. Speaking of the front suspension. The cool thing about the rear suspension, which I almost forgot to mention, is we don't have any pivots in the back here. Oh. That's what's keeping some of this weight down. But what we're using to get the 60 mil to travel is we're using our frame materials here. And this is really the special feature of this bike is that this is using carbon fiber bendy ability right. <laughs> to get that, to ah. get some of that travel in there. And it reminds it me of that quick link on the. A little bit. Uh, yeah, we're using, yeah, we're using the frame materials to, yeah. to help. A, um, um, suspend the bike so if you look in slow motion on this thing and even if you put this thing on the ground and, and flex the rear end you'll see the the rear um, seat stays bow okay and that's where we're getting that now without this piece that would have been an uncontrollable uh, an uh, unadjustable type of yeah. flex but with this it is rebound adjustable it is compression adjustable so uh, the aid of this shock and that really gives it a very very special ride i keep using special because i don't know if there's any other bike i haven't that seen another one like that a, a, you know a, um an adjustable rebound and using frame materials well to, yeah to it's the engineer right yep. and again how far have bikes come back you know i'm 48 so we'll say when i was 20 21 years old mm -hmm. you had a rigid that was it it was a hard tail on a front front suspension you know and yep. what was it proflex was some of the first full suspension and they were using polymers yeah, polymers exactly. yeah you they know like crap yeah but we thought they were great we thought they were the best <laughs> and now we're actually using frame material <laughs> along with a specifically engineered um rebound suspension system to work in tandem to give us that right. modest but you know 60 millimeters of travel and so Trek has attempted this in the past i have seen some other companies do this in the past i think maybe Yeti may have done that in the past as well, okay. but this is, it's refined now. It's, there's no, no question this is really, about it. This no is question. really hip. So this bike out of the box, set you back, what, $5,100, 5000 Okay. 5000 Um. So $5,000. And some change. <sighs> not the cheapest thing in the world. It is not. You know? It is not. And there's still some things that I would not, like I couldn't, I couldn't handle this. I can't handle this post. Right. Just the, the like, spoiled kid in me. Mm -hmm. Can't handle this cockpit. So that stuff would would be a change. Yeah. But the rest of it, having you know, there's always that balance. There is. And coming with carbon wheels at five thousand bucks. It's really. I think that's uh, for a race bike. That's pretty good. That's it, a redeeming it's quality. It's making it pretty damn good because yeah. I can you know I can then customize and get some really boutiquey stuff for here. That, yeah. That I the would aesthetics never get, we can always that change. I would never get from Trek. Right. You know. Right. Like uh, what was that? Uh, Chris Keaton hubs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These aren't bad. No, they, they're you know, not. They have, they have rapid engagement capability, and um, they're not bad. Yeah. Sometime after the first of the year, guys, I'll, I'm going to do some, some really hardcore investigating on, on getting a set of those hubs and, and setting them up on uh, you have the LMA. means, I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's so choice. <laughs> if you have the means, I highly recommend picking up one for yourself. 
Mint. <laughs> now, if you can name that movie, if you hung around long enough and you can first one in the comment section down below, I got something for you. So, um, all right. Well, is there anything else that the viewers should know about this bike before we close it out? I mean, they, again, this is one of those bikes where it's made for a niche rider. If you're a racer, this is the one for you. If you're riding more crushed gravel or fire roads or something yes, and yeah. you don't need an extreme amount of travel right. and you want something quick and I fun think, i think some midwest some of our midwest viewers could probably have this and be happy with it everywhere okay like, like the limited ride that i have done in the midwest this would probably be all you need right out here i don't think it cuts it for everybody for all the time yeah all the, the conditions the, yeah the terrain the, the just the variance and, mm -hmm. and terrain that we have yep. is yeah you need something definitely more like the fuel yeah. You know, it's yeah. going to be more of an all-around exactly. bike. So, um, But yeah, or if you're a racer, man, check this out. So I'm, I, this might be the first bike that I uh, rent from Bike and Hike. I highly, I'm, I'm, highly I'm suggest curious it. It's about really, this. really fun. Yeah. Take this out to McDowell, do the race course out there, and it'll be fantastic. It's the same one that they do the uh, Cactus Cup on. And that. Okay. It's, it's, yeah. It's beautiful. Speed matters. It's beautiful. So speed and weight matter. So, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, on that note. Um, if you have anything else uh, that you want to add, like you personally maybe have a Super Caliber, um, leave that down in the <coughs> comment section. If you have a question about this bike, you can leave it down in the comment section below, or you can follow the link to Trek Bicycle Stores of West Phoenix. Okay. Give these guys a phone call. They'll be more than happy to answer any question you might have. Um, that being said, also don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification icon. It's going to do a few things. One, it's going to help out this video, and it's going to help out the channel. And two, you'll be kept informed of all our new videos uh, when they go live as far as um, whether it's a toolbox topic, a bike showcase, trail videos, which we have a new one coming next week. Um, yeah, just keeps you informed on all the goodness. There's also another link down below for Copper State Bike and Hike. Thank you. As far as that goes. So if you're looking to demo a bike, give those guys a call. Uh, they also rent bike racks. So even if you don't have a bike rack, you could still rent a bike for the weekend. Um, give them a call to see what they have in stock. I know yes. sometimes the availability is <laughs> cooling down. and it's Yeah, really people are reserving those and everything like that. So definitely give them a call. We also have our social media links down below. That's Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, right? Eh. <laughs> um, if you want to keep up on the day-to-day -day happenings and shenanigans of Get Out Arizona, that's how you're going to do it. So on that note, Brandon, this is a great bike. I'm sure it's going to make a lot of people happy. Um, yeah, and I think maybe after the first of the year, I'm going to have to demo one of these, so <laughs> for sure. I want to do it before Christmas. It I got hooves you. Yeah, and too many other things going on. So on that note, guys, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? We'll see you at the movies. Nah, get out of Arizona. Mm. We'll definitely see you on the next adventure, though. Take care, guys. Brandon, thanks a lot, Come man. On. We'll see you next yep. week. Take care.